start of school is fast approaching. And developing now, the Miami-Dade school's boss making a major announcement. Let's get right to Local 10's Hatzel Vela live in Miami. Hatzel. Nicole Calvin, the fourth largest school district in the country, now announcing schools will be online. And they're also telling us they're delaying the start of school by a week. In light of the viral surge in our community, we believe it is in the best interest of our students and employees to delay the return to the schoolhouse and commence the 2021 school year from a distance. Miami-Dade Superintendent Alberto Carvalho is also pushing back the first day of school by a week to August 31st so the teachers and students get ready for online schooling. It is actually counterintuitive and dangerous. On July 15th, uh, Superintendent also, Carvalho told us returning to physical buildings would not happen unless the positivity rates went below 10 percent. ICU capacity was better and there were less hospitalizations. And I see in the ER all the time. I see on a Zoom conference call today. We heard from Dr. Leo Alonzo, an ER doctor in Jacksonville, and two other doctors, including one from South Florida, who were highly critical of reopening physical classrooms. Yes, children do have milder symptoms and actually many have no symptoms but yet they can spread the disease and in multi-generational homes he says that could be a problem governor ron DeSantis continues to advocate for reopening schools adding parents and teachers should have a choice but i would have no problem and i would absolutely have you know my kids in school because i do think uh, that it's safe to do so so the superintendent wants to move into stage two on October 5th. Stage two would mean a mix of in-school, in-person classrooms, as well as online learning. But he says all that depends on COVID rates here in Miami-Dade. For now, reporting live in Miami, I'm Hatsovella, Local 10 News.